Hey guys, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I bind up my mini albums using the We Are Memory Keeper Cinch Machine. So today I have some pages already pre-done. I have one more page, so I thought I would go ahead and share with you guys how I will finish this one off. So this is one of the papers that I printed off this month for my stash. Um, and all I did was I cut it down so that it is eight and a half by five inches. I scored it in the middle and then I folded it in half and this will become my little page. I don't want the middle to be open though so I'm going to use the Tombow Extreme and glue these two sides together and this will create a thicker double-sided pattern page which is what I want for my mini album. So I'm just going to apply some of this Tombow adhesive on there and then I'll press this down and then use my bone folder once more just to kind of press that into place. And then this page will go here and then these are all of the pages of my book. So I like to kind of pre-plan where the pages will go so that the patterns will kind of coordinate nicely. And for this particular album I'm having the folded side be the bottom of my page. So I've got all my pages ready so now it's time to pull over the cinch machine and show you guys how I use it. There may be different ways to use it, different methods, but this is just how I do it. So what I do to start is I cut down a piece of scrap paper so that it is the same length as the side that I'm going to be punching my holes and using my binding on. So I want this album to flip from the top and up. So this is the side I'm going to use. This side is five inches, so my scrap piece of paper is also five inches. And then I'll pull this over so you guys can see it a little bit better. Hopefully that view is okay. All right, so with my scrap piece of paper, I'm going to test punch before I mess with my nice pages. So what you want to remember is that you want to line up the center point of your scrap piece of paper with this center mark right here. So this does take just a little bit of math, so it can be a little bit confusing, but that's why we're using a scrap piece of paper. So my paper is five inches wide, so half of five inches is two and a half inches. So from this center mark right here, I'm going to measure over two and a half inches, and then I will line up my paper with that spot, okay? so. One, two, and then half of an inch right there. So you can tell already that I don't really pay attention to these like number markings. I just, yeah, I just pay attention to the actual like inches markings, if that makes sense. Okay, so we'll do it again. So two and a half, so that'd be one inch, two inch, quarter of an inch, half of an inch. So that's where I'm going to line up my test paper. I'm going to push it all the way to the back and you can see that I have six knobs punched because that's how long the little binding is that I'm going to be using. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. If you are punching a smaller book and you don't want to use six things, that's fine. You know, go ahead, pull them all out and just work your way outwards from the center, okay? So like, if I only wanted to do four, I would do it like that and I would make sure that there's two on each side of this center mark. So I hope that makes sense, but today I'm going to be using six little binding spots. So I'm going to pull it to six, this is where I want the punch to be, two and a half inches. So you can see this center mark is halfway across the width of my paper. I'm going to pull this down and then you can see it's right in the middle. So that's what we want, okay? The other important thing that we want to remember is that when you're punching your pages, make sure all the pages are in order how you want them. Try not to, if you can avoid it, to like accidentally flip your page over and then punch it and then realize, oh wait, I wanted this side on the front because it might skew the holes just a tiny bit. So just keep that in mind. Um, just try to keep them in the right order that you want them in your book, okay? So I'm going to do Probably just two of these at a time. Yes, this is five inches, five inches wide as you can see. So I'm going to line this up again. That mark that we got earlier there. Make sure everything is square. This paper is a little bit thicker, so that's why I'm having to work a little bit harder. 
you can see there's my holes so I'm going to set these aside I'm not going to flip them or turn them or do anything I'm just going to set them aside I'm working from the back of my book forward but it just helps me keep track of how things are and where things are all right so seems crooked all right so you also want to make sure that the bottom is even as well Set it aside. Two more pages. Line it up in that same exact spot. You can see when I press down, these go down as well. There's those. And then two more. So I have my cover and then the first like actual page in my album. Do this one more time. See how I'm kind of struggling to get that straight? I'm just gonna like press this down again. Maybe there's something kind of jammed up a little bit back there. It's not a big deal. There we go. So it's nice and even and straight. And there are those. So once all of your binding holes are punched, you need to get your binding wire and then go ahead and turn the machine so that the little peg side is facing you. And this part is a little bit tricky, but if you remember to do it, it makes your life so much easier. So this is the front of my book, right? The front page, the cover, if you will. So this back cover, I'm going to flip it around like so. So this will be the inside of the back cover. So I'll do that one more time, okay? So you want to imagine that the binding ring is already on here. You swing it around. Okay, so you have both of the outside faces of the covers facing each other. So I hope that made sense. I'll do it one more time so you guys can see, okay? So we'll go like this, okay? So if you do that, it will make your binding turn out a lot nicer. So you can go ahead and place your binding wire on these little pegs or our little notches to kind of hold it in place. And then you just place your pages on the wire like that, okay? And then that's all that you need for this side of the cinch. And then this side is the binding side. So this thing pushes down on these white sides here and it will make it a continuous ring. So being careful, you just, I don't know if you guys can see this or not. You just place it with the open side of the ring facing the back, okay? And you press it so that it stays put. You press down on the lever one more time, like so, and there's your binding. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the back cover how it's supposed to be. I'll just flip it back over. And there you go. There's your nicely bound little book. I did forget to mention that I was using the three quarter inch binding wire. So I have my tool set to three quarters inches here. If you're using a bigger binding, you can shift this over or shift it down smaller if you're using a smaller diameter binding wire. But I use a three quarters inch diameter, so that's what I had the settings to. So let me move the machine and I'll flip you guys through the book real quick. So that is the finished base of the mini album. I think it turned out really cute. I will be decorating this over in the Pop Fizz Paper Crafty Club in one of the exclusive videos this month. So if you want to see how I transform this into something super duper cute, <laughs> make sure you join the club. There's all sorts of fun perks. You get extra videos, live stream stuff, even happy mail for me to you. So if you're interested in that and you want to see how this whole cute little album turned out definitely head over there I will leave a link down below but that is it for today's video I hope that you guys enjoyed this I hope that you found it helpful thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you are not already and I will see you guys in my next video bye